What is going on guys? Ben Gligan here coming back at you with another video. Today I am actually going to be back on Sporkle. Uh, I searched Sporkle in my comment section and uh, I haven't done many Sporkle quizzes in a long time. Usually the best way for me to find these is to tweet them at me, twitter.com slash bangledesigns. Definitely make sure to click that link down in the description, follow me if you're not already, and tweet some quizzes at me if you want to see me do some quizzes. Now, a lot of you are going to be new to the channel. You maybe think, you know, I just play Madden, but and maybe terrible at math if you've seen some, some of these things, you know, victorious and whatnot. Uh, and, you know, what do I do in terms of making up for my lack of any type of math ability? And that's a bunch of potentially useless NFL knowledge. Also, before we start, I will say... Deepest condolences uh, to the tragedy that happened down in Jacksonville at the Madden tournament. I know by now you guys are probably all aware of it. Some fucking loser, scumbag, coward went out on a, you know, a rampage after he lost and unfortunately took the lives of a, a couple of, of competitors down there and, and injured many more. It's terrible. I get it, but we're going to keep on trucking here. Sorry to kind of, you know, start that off with uh, a bad, sad note. And it is super sad, but condolences out to all those guys. I'm sure you guys are going to feel it down in the comments section below. I don't blame you if you do. Um, you know, RIPs for uh, for True Boy. And uh, spot me, please. Terrible tragedy. Thankfully, um, more people were not injured. But after that sad note, I am going to go ahead and attempt this quiz. It's called the NFL Hardest Quiz 2018. So I'm not sure if this is like, you know, uh, numbers from last year are hard stuff, but we're certainly gonna find out here in a minute. And uh, here we go, NFL Hardest Quiz 2018 edition, and it's all time, okay. So first of all, if you can see, first player with 100 receptions in back-to-back -back seasons. We also have the Gunslinger, I assume that's the nickname. We'll get to this, you know, et cetera. So we have 15 minutes to do 50. It says it's the hardest quiz, we'll see how we do. I wish I could see the average score. Usually I do pretty well on these just because I just I know too much, but uh, we'll see. Link to the quiz should be down in the chat. Maybe you guys want to take this and then see how I do afterwards. And regardless, let's jump in. First player with 100 plus receptions in back to back seasons. So I'm going to try some receivers that I know that are really good. Jerry Rice. It's not going to be Jerry Rice. Do I need full names? No, he's not on the list unless I misspelled Jerry Rice, which I did not. Um... Larry Fitzgerald, maybe? Oh, I did LA. We got the LA Rams. The team became the first to have male uh, cheerleaders. So this team became the first. And that is the male cheerleaders for the Rams. Interesting. So I wanted to try Larry Fitzgerald. Usually it, it only accepts like last names or it will accept last names, but I'll always, so I want to check. We'll test it out with the gunslinger, which is clearly Brett Favre. Who was the Texans first ever draft pick? That would be uh, David Carr out of Fresno State. Who is CJ2K? That is Chris Johnson. I gotta not type the full name. Maybe Johnson gets me something else. He does. Who owns a single season receiving yards record? Calvin Johnson, Megatron. We, of course, should know that. Reggie Bush was lightning on the 06 Trojans. Who was Thunder? That's Lendell White. So we get what player's nickname was the Minister of Defense? That's Reggie White. This is Lendell White's the answer here. All right, it accepts Lendell White. All right, maybe we do need full names sometimes. What round was Tom Brady drafted in? That would be the sixth. Takes us to six. Who was on the cover of Madden 12? That would be Peyton Hillis. Broke Don Hudson's all-time touchdown record in 1989. Isn't it a receiving touchdown? Isn't it Don Hudson with a T? Am I crazy here? Fuck, I keep... Can't even type. Yeah, it's Don Hudson. So I don't know what else could have popped up when I did it with the autofill. Uh, who broke Don Hudson's all-time receiving touchdown record in 1989? That's not Jerry Rice. Would be a little bit too early. Uh, Lance Allworth? I just did A. Did it A fill up something? The heck? I, I could have sworn. Allworth. That would be a weird one. Um, all-time receiving touchdowns record in 89. This is kind of a weird year. So it would be a player that started in the 70s more than likely and then had dominance through the 80s as a wide receiver. We might have to come back to that one. That kind of reminds me. I see, I was thinking of like Packers. We saw Don Hudson, Hudson, and then Gunslinger, Brett Favre. This one might be Sterling Sharp for uh, 100 plus receptions in back-to-back -back seasons. It is. 
I was watching the Giants game the other day, and one of the commentators called Sterling Sh uh, Shepard Sterling Sharp. So that kind of made me uh, think about him. The Night Train is, of course, Dick Lane. AKA Night Train, if you're younger and have played Ultimate Team. Drafted number one overall by the Falcons in 2001. That is Michael Vick. Only punter in the Hall of Fame. That is Ray Guy. Drafted the pick after Peyton Manning by the Chargers, Ryan Leaf. First QB with five Super Bowl rings, Tom Brady. Team was the first to go 0-16. That would be the Detroit Lions. Raiders took this LSU QB number one overall in 2007. That is Jamarcus Russell. What Archie Manning-led team gave the Bucks their first win? New Orleans Saints. All-time rushing yards leader is Emmett Smith. This running back allegedly ran a 4-1-2-40 yard dash. That is Bo Jackson. Let me just type Jackson. Owns the kick return touchdown record. That is uh, D -D -D Bears, Devin Hester. What QB went from bagging grocery? Is it Hyvee? H-Y-V-E-E? -E, to winning a Super Bowl? I don't know what that place is. That's Kurt Warner. What was it? 1985 Bears D nickname. This has been like a lot of great Bears team nicknames. It's the Monsters of the Midway. Started 156 games for the Cowboys after going undrafted. That is Tony Romo. He went to, I believe, Northern Illinois. 5'10 QB who wore number 22 at Boston College. That is Doug Flutie. Played quarterback for the Bills and Patriots. And Chargers, maybe? Who is the all-time defensive interceptions leader? Paul Krause. And then I believe it's Emlyn Tunnel after him. Former Giant. All-time passer rating leader with a 103.8. That is Aaron Rodgers. All-time postseason sack leader with 16. Willie McGinnis. You'd think it'd be like, I don't know, Bruce Smith because the Bills made the playoffs so often. But I, I just remember Willie McGinnis. That might have been on a different quiz, but it's been a while since I've done these sporkle quizzes. That's just one that I remember. This player's rap name is Juice Le'Veon Bell. This rookie won the first AP MVP award in 1957 and also won it the next year. Uh, Hornung? Jim Taylor? Johnny Unitas? 57. I'm thinking it's either a quarterback or a running back. Johnny Unitas, I thought, was one that... Oh, it could be Jim Brown. It is Jim Brown. Money. Before the Colts played in Indy, they played where? Baltimore. Baltimore Colts. Who's the all-time sack leader with 200? That is Bruce Smith. I guess we got to type this one in because we already got a Smith going on. This QB had to sit behind Joe Montana for four years until getting a shot due to injury. That is Steve Young, who is one of the best running backs ever, nicknamed Sweetness Walter Payton. Who is a Nigerian nightmare that, of course, is Christian Okoye. Our team plays our, homes, our home games in Orchard Park. Doesn't say home games, but that is the Buffalo Bills. This Vanderbilt quarterback was a first-round pick by the Broncos in 06. Wearing number six, Smoking Jay. Jay Cutler. Who is the 49ers all-time rush yards leader? Roger Craig just popped in my head, but it's definitely Frank Gore. This QB was drafted number six overall by the Bucks in 1994. I don't know. Trent Dilfer? It is Trent Dilfer. That was kind of a guess. I know he was drafted there, and I know he was drafted early. I think that 94 quarterback class was actually pretty good. Well, no, it was between Trent Dilfer, because the Colts had the number one pick, I believe, and they didn't draft a quarterback. And it, that was the, the legendary uh, Mel Kuyper Jr. rant about how the Colts are the laughing stock of the league because they didn't take a quarterback. And Trent Dilford never really turned out to be anything crazy. Who do they take instead? I can't remember. Who was the other quarterback, though? I don't remember. Someone tell me down in the comment section below if I forget. The Music City Miracle was won by which team? That is the Rams. That is the Titans. Excuse me. It was Titans against Rams. Who drafted Jake Locker was Titans. Can't believe I went Rams first. I Titans, obviously. First black quarterback to win a Super Bowl as a starter. That is Doug Williams. And since we already have... Uh, do we have Williams on the list already? We don't. I think it's Doug Williams, though. Yeah, with the Redskins. How many Super Bowls did the Bills go to in the 90s? We talked about this a little bit earlier. That is four. Right in a row. This player was known as the Fridge, William Perry. Who is the oldest NFL franchise in continuous operation with the same name in the same location? Chicago Bears, maybe? They've been around for a while. Could be also the Green Bay Packers. It is the Green Bay Packers. This quarterback was drafted in uh, 04 by the Chargers, but demanded a trade. I don't know why I keep rephrasing some of these, but that is Eli Manning, Elisha. Oh, we already have Manning on there. It's Eli Manning. That was weird. 
What year was Andrew Luck drafted in 2012? RG3 followed, and the Saints traded their entire draft to move up and select this player in 1999. That is Ricky Williams. Hook him horns, baby. And I'm missing one. That is broke Don Hudson's all-time receiving touchdowns record in 1989. Are you gonna, I, I'm, I bet it's an obvious one too. I don't want a 49 out of 50 this in my first quiz back. I, I dominated it. Give me a 50 out of 50. Who are you? Uh, Art Monk. <laughs> Trying to name receivers of the 80s. Uh, James Lofton. Who else? Who could it be? It's going to be so obvious. Kellen Winslow? No. Who is a receiver in the 80s? Just name name any of them. That was that was real good. 1989. I hate the 80s. The 80s is probably the generation I know the least amount of football because I know like a ton about the 60s and 70s because that's when my dad was growing up and he knows about some and I you know had football cards from that era. That's how I know a lot about these players. But the 80s is it's in between the time where it's too far along for me being born and also like my dad was too far past like growing up 19 it's gonna be so obvious um clayton with the uh dolphins even though that doesn't really make sense because the timing is not quite right i don't I, I i don't know actually i don't know it's gonna be so obvious when i see it it's gonna be super annoying i'm trying to think of like good quarterbacks in the 80s to pair and it's not Jerry Rice. The timing doesn't work on that either, even though we've already typed him at the beginning. All-time receiving touch. That's like so many. That's the that's breaking the record. Who could this be? It's going to be so obvious. I'm sorry to let you guys down. We won't wait too much longer on it. I'm not going to wait the entire five minutes. Uh, let's go team by team, and maybe I'll be able to do it that way. Giants, receivers in the 80s that could have done it. Probably nobody. Cowboys. Could be, could be, it wouldn't be Michael Irvin. We'll type it anyway. It wouldn't be. The timing doesn't work on that either. Maybe Drew Pearson, even though that doesn't really make sense. So, Cowboys. Would it, I don't think so. Eagles. Wouldn't be Harold Carmichael. They didn't really have any notable other receivers. And the last team in the NFC East is the Redskins. I did Art Monk, even though it never would have been him. All right, let's go AFC East. Patriots, no. Um, Bills. Andre Reid, but the timing doesn't work. He was 90s. Uh, Dolphins. Did Clayton. Mark Clayton. He's not on there. Who's the other team? Who do I, Patriots, Bills, Dolphins, Jets. I don't think a Jets receiver would have done it. NFC North. Packers. Uh, no. Vikings. Chris Carter, but the timing doesn't work. I don't think. Bears. Bears, Bears, Bears. I don't think so. I'm, I'm going to go Largent because I just thought of Seahawks. Not him. Uh, Lions. Wouldn't be anyway. So the Bears, Lions, Packers, Vikings. No. AFC North. Steelers. All I can think of Swan and Stallworth, but it wouldn't be any of them. Browns. No. Ravens. They weren't around. And then, um, a, uh, Bengals. No, I don't think anybody. I'm gonna be so embarrassed when I don't get this. South, Saints. No. Bucks. No, they weren't really around for that being good in that time period. Um, Panthers weren't around. A lot of teams weren't around. Uh, and then, who did I miss here? Saints, Pan Falcons. I don't think anybody. AFC South, Jaguars weren't around. Titans were the Oilers then. Probably wouldn't be any from anyone from them anyways. Um, Colts. Wouldn't, Marvin Harrison certainly doesn't work. He's not even close. Bruce doesn't work. It's an all-time great receiver. How do I not know? Do I stop before I get to the West? I, I'm wasting too much time. I'm, I'm sorry for wasting you guys' time. I'm going to give up. Steve... L what? 
I typed Largent. You guys saw me. I typed it. That's 50 out of 50. I don't care. It popped in my head. I, I That's 50 out of 50. I don't care that I got 98. That's 100. I typed Largent. I'm going to have to go back and watch this in the replay. I typed Largent 100%. I said it out loud. There's no way I misspelled Largent. So that's extremely frustrating. That's 50 out of 50. I don't care. I'm coming back with a bang. That's money. He popped in my head. I typed it. That's 50 out of 50. I don't care. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you dig down in the comment section below. This was, like, kind of easy for me, but there's, like, a lot of names on here that, like, I easily could have missed. Or many of you could have missed because some of these are weird. And some of these are just, like, kind of random knowledge. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.